voter beware of whale behavior. The big misunderstandings are the whales so often do not know you're there. Not if they are resting, not if they're feeding. A humpback whale researcher is sharing crucial information to prevent these massive marine mammals from being hit by vessels. So if they have a fatal accident, often they just disappear to the bottom of the ocean. Voters play a big part and should know it's the law to report all collisions with whales. We're trying very hard to create a culture of transparency around that. Nobody wants to hit a whale. And it is the law that you have to report to DFO if there's entanglement or collision. And that, of course, by reducing speed, you are going to reduce the impact. Humpback whales do not travel in a straight line, and they don't have echolocation. Like imagine you were really, really hungry, yet you're not paying attention to anything else. And that is not going to change because this is where their food is. So important is to realize these are big unpredictable whales who need to get fat fast, who do not have biosonar, and that they could be resting right below the surface where even our whole education campaign, see a blow go slow, and you may not even see the blow if they're not really exerting themselves or if weather doesn't allow. Since June, she knows of at least eight humpback whales that have been struck on Vancouver Island. Nobody wants to hit a whale. So they may go into denial that it happened or think that the whale's okay. Reporting whale strikes immediately is critical. We know who the whale is that was hit and that we can monitor their injuries. Part of the work that we do is to study the scars of humpbacks so that we have a better idea of how many are getting hit. Her message is not to vilify boaters. We have such respect and gratitude to the people who make sure that they're reporting in as close to real time as possible. We have a second chance with humpback whales. We need to be good neighbors. By keeping the whales and people safe. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.